the best of life is yet to come. I remember the lyrics to that song, and I never really believed it. But the older I get, the more I realize that these years of over 60, over 70, and over 80 are some of the best years of my life. Hello and welcome. This is Sandra Hard. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you notice the t-shirt that I am wearing, it's in honor of my granddaughter who today is uh, left Lexington, Kentucky, and she is now in Wisconsin for the uh, Women's Basketball Championship uh, tournament. Uh, they're in the, the final, I think the final four or the final few games that they have. So I'm thinking about her all day today. She has a game at six o'clock. So here I am celebrating my daughter and all the wonderful women who are on the Transylvania women's basketball team. Now, <laughs> this video is in response to a lot of people who have asked me, what do you eat? You know, how do you exercise? How do you stay so trim? Well, a lot of it I think is genetics. And as I said before, when my husband died, I, um, I'm a pescatarian, which means I eat vegetables, but I do eat fish. That's the only animal that I eat, the only animal protein that I get in my diet. But I neglected myself because I was missing meals. I wasn't eating enough. And I really lost a lot of weight and I lost a lot of my stamina that I had. But I realized when I went to my doctor and he started, you know, doing a physical and he felt my arm, he said, gee, you're awfully bony up there. So I thought, you know what, Sandra, you know, that's a aha moment again for you. I'm always having those aha moments that I had better start getting back on tra track and taking care of myself. So I am back on track. I have gained a little bit of weight and I'm going to share with you now, uh, what I have been doing maybe a little bit differently because I'm more of the same old, same old type person. I've been a vegetarian for over 40, a pescatarian for over 40 years. So I basically eat the same things all the time. But recently I've tried so hard to eat organic. Now I know it's more expensive and wherever you live, it may be very hard for you to find organic foods. If you're near a farmer's market, maybe you're able to buy produce that way. But if you only have access to food through a grocery store, it's pricey. I mean, all groceries are so expensive today. Even the normal groceries that, not when I go to the grocery store, it's almost twice as much at the end when I go to the checkout counter than it used to be. But when I can, I really am trying to eat organic and I eat no processed food, no processed food. If you go through the aisles in, a, in the grocery store and you actually, and my husband used to do this all the time and he would drive me nuts. If you would actually read the labels on even bread, cereal, uh, frozen prepared dinners, almost everything that you look and you read the label, it has other extra uh, ingredients for preservatives and so forth. And most of them have sugar. I was so amazed when I really started reading labels, how much sugar is in everything. And sugar is just empty calories. It does absolutely nothing for you. And I really consider sugar as poison. I don't want to put it into my body. I have eliminated sugar and I have for a long time, but now I'm more cognizant of the cereals that I buy and things that I buy that are packaged because a lot of them have tons of sugar in them. Shredded wheat is one of them that's not. So you can buy shredded wheat, you can buy rice puffs. All of those things don't have sugar in them. I try to eat oatmeal most days. But you know, the oatmeal gets kind of tiring also. But with oatmeal, I put antioxidant berries and strawberries and a sliced banana in them. 
and it kind of it does um, change it up once in a while. But when I was in Aldi's the other day, and I don't know whether you have an Aldi's in your neighborhood, but they're very, I love their prices. And I know they have them in Europe, but I found this because I do like pancakes in the morning to, you know, to change up my variety a little bit. I found this Millville protein pancake and waffle mix, and it's made with oats, and it has 14 grams of protein. So it's a good alternative. And instead of syrup, or butter, I put you know berries on it, strawberries, mangoes, uh, 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 blueberries, uh, blackberries, whatever kind of fruit that I have. Uh, and I buy frozen fruit too in the packages because it's very healthy. And I put those on top of my waffles or pancakes and it gives me antioxidants and yet it gives me the protein that I need in my diet. I eat three square meals a day. I eat probably around 10 o'clock in the morning. I'll have my breakfast. I'll eat lunch. And then I will have, I'll eat a light lunch. And then I'll have dinner around 6 o'clock. And from 6 o'clock till 10 o'clock in the morning, I fast. Once I'm finished with my meal at 6 o'clock, I don't eat anything anymore. So I actually am intermittent intermittent doing intermittent fasting during the night and I think that really is very healthy I hydrate I hydrate 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 because when you hydrate you are flushing the toxins out of your body you're plumping up your skin and you're giving a lot of moisture to the skin you are letting your all of everything just move very smoothly in your body when you uh, are hydrating and be sure don't drink too much water because you'll lose your electrolytes and you can also use electrolyte powder or liquid electrolyte in your water to be sure that you're not losing electrolytes i do not snack between meals as i said and i try to eat foods that have antioxidants in them and i'm putting a list of them right here I try to eat foods that are high in protein and foods that are as natural as possible and don't have a lot of preservatives and other ingredients in them. And I think it is helping me stay healthy. I have eliminated for years white products out of my diet. And by that I mean sugar, white bread, white flour, white rice i eat potatoes white potatoes once in a while because they do have good things in them but i find myself eating sweet potatoes more than white potatoes so i have eliminated most of the white things in my diet that are not that healthy for you i eat brown rice i eat quinoa i eat whole grains and those are things that I eat in my diet that help me. Along with diet, you know, our bodies are machines that not only need good stuff put in them, but also after we reach a certain age, we start to lose muscle. And the older we get, the faster our muscle disappears. So it's important that we exercise. You don't have to kill yourself to run a marathon. Um, I walk my dog. I do this, you know, three times a day. And uh, during the, and Pesto now is my husband's dog. He's down here on the floor. He has congestive heart failure, so I have to walk him in a carriage most of the way. But then I'm losing my exercise. So what I do is I put him in the carriage. Uh, I take him out, let him walk and do whatever he has to do. I put him back and then I push the carriage and toward the end of the walk, I really power walk it, getting back to uh, where I live. So I'm trying to do some cardiovascular work as well as doing great muscle work because when your muscles are strong, your bones are healthier. And that's when I realized I also have to start working on my upper body. I had bought 10 pound weights. But he told me, no, that, that's too heavy for you. Five pound weights are good for someone your age. So I've been doing my upper body work 
with five pound weights on a regular basis. And I also bought, after Arthur passed away, an exercise bike and I put it in the guest room, my studio where I film, everything is in that room. So I do, I do ride my bike at least a half an hour every day. And I was so stupid. Uh, I wrote it last week while watching a Netflix series for two hours. <laughs> I got off and the next day I was so stiff I could hardly move. So I'm not going to do that again. <laughs> but anyway, uh, an exercise bike is great. And if you uh, are, you know, you can't stand up and do your weights, sit in a chair and just lift the weights and you're building muscle. And when you're building muscle, you're burning calories and you are also protecting your bones. It really is extremely important. And all of these things, exercise, diet, are so important, not only for longevity, they're also important for your mental positivity, keeping yourself up, keeping yourself positive, because everything is tied together. Thinking positive, thinking with gratitude, exercising, eating right, uh, all of these things are so important, especially at our age when maybe we've lost our house spouses, we've lost friends, our children are off on their own, having their own lives. And it's important that we keep stimulated, we keep learning, and we keep working on body and mind positivity. Uh, I can't tell you how important it is. And I am feeling that I am getting my vitality back now that I am more cognizant of processed food and I'm more aware of maybe pushing myself to exercise. Sometimes I don't feel like going out in the morning, especially with pesto, because uh, I just, you know, I just don't feel like it. But I put him in the carriage and I go out and it's amazing how great I feel when I come back and I feel that I am getting my vitality back a hundred percent. You know, it's all a matter of your mind and your body and gee, we are such a wonderful machine uh, working to keep us here and to keep us healthy while we are here. But it's up to us to be in charge of our bodies and how we think about them and how we take care of them. So this, I have, I have done other videos about how I juice, uh, what I eat and, and how, you know, I eat a lot of greens and everything. So I have done quite a few videos about this. So I'm going to put them at the end of this uh, down below the video so that if you want to follow my history of my wellness history and what I eat and how I exercise and how I stay fit, then now all of those links will be below this video. And also I do have a body journal that my daughter and I have done on being able to take care of your body and how to eat. Thank you so much for joining me today. I love each and every one of you. Please, let's all take care of ourselves. I want us all to live a long and healthy life if we can and be kind to everybody that crosses your path. And let's all pray that the economy turns around, that we are, have world peace and that all is good in the world. And if you're out there and you feel like you're alone, you're not. You are truly, truly loved. Thank you, and I'll see you next Sunday for another video. Take care.